I like this new moon. Venus is exalted alongside the sun, the moon, Neptune, and Pisces. And even though it does seem like some things are brewing behind the scenes or it's a little too good to be true, the energy is overall celebratory, even though it's more private and internal. So I'm looking forward to this Pisces new moon. I even brought out the, the OG Fiorucci shirt. I felt like being a bit nostalgic. So if you're excited to dive into what exactly this Pisces new moon holds for us in the collective, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. Hi, I'm Erin. I'm a professional astrologer, author, and I combine ancient Hellenistic astrology with modern psychological astrology to give you some guidance. So if you have not already seen your March 2021 forecast and they are out at the time of this video coming out, make sure that you check those out on my channel to see how this will be showing up in your chart. And this video is right to you by my very own Modern Magic membership community. So if you are new here, I have a membership community where we get cool access to content perks, chat rooms, uh, memberships, Discord server, or yeah, there's just a lot that we offer and it's cute and it's cool and it's very exciting. If you want to join us for all the exclusive content starting at just $7.77 a month, check that out on my website. So this is a Pisces new moon on March 13th at 5.20 a.m. Eastern time. So adjust to your time zone. And there's so much Pisces. It's fucking adorable. We have the Sun, the Moon, Neptune, and Venus, and even though Venus is still at 19 degrees in the second decan of Pisces, the Sun, Moon, and Neptune are all in the third decan of Pisces, which is the final decan, and it is a Jupiter-ruled sign, but a Mars-ruled decan, or third part. So this is associated with the Ten of Cups tarot card, known as the Lord of Satiety, or like feeling satisfied because of the Martian action that you took towards Jupiterian fulfillment. It's a very much happy ending because you got shit done and you're celebrating the work. Like you're feeling good about what has come and you're choosing to feel fulfilled about what matters. Like this is kind of a private internal celebration. It's not throwing a banger like God forbid. It's more about knowing that there's more complex considerations about the what you did and what you accomplished, and you're letting yourself feel worthy and feel valid around that. And on its own, Venus alongside, exalted Venus alongside a new moon is really lovely. Venus is exalted in Pisces, which means that it is lifted up royally, it is extolled, it is very highlighted in a positive light. And Venus being harmony and luxury and unity, and Pisces being an unconditional, unjudgmental sign, they work really well together. Um, that's not why Venus is exalted there, but the affinity works. And there's this like glossiness to this new moon that makes me think that this day will be a very, very hazy, beautiful, possibly inebriated to like a CBD glazed day. CBD glazed donut day. Venus is underneath the sun's beams, it's within the 14 and a half degree range to be burned by the sun. However, it's not bad when this happens, it just indicates it being more internal or hidden. So I think that we are having a private internal happiness about what we've done and what's coming due to the collective good fortune of events. Maybe in the horizon around now, it could be some good quiet celebration. Maybe, I mean, I'm filming this in early January because that's how I, how I roll. I film a month ahead of time to be edited the next month, like that's what I do. Maybe there's some like vaccine or viral progress because given that there looks like there are reopenings May into July of this year, maybe around now is when there's some success. Looks dreamy and beautiful. If you already know what house Pisces is in your chart or maybe you've seen your forecast video so you know where this is showing up for you, I'd love to hear down below about uh, what you're expecting and where this is coming for you. So this is ruled by Jupiter which is in Aquarius because Jupiter rules Pisces and Jupiter is in the sign right before of Aquarius and it's conjunct Mercury and co-present or in the same sign as Saturn. So there's like data driven analysis ruling over the dream. Aquarius is the data collector, the architect, and the planet that rules this moon is in Aquarius. So it's like it's not a Pisces new moon ruled by Jupiter in Pisces quite yet. It's a Pisces new moon ruled by Jupiter in Aquarius calculating behind the scenes of all this celebration. So it adds some like ideological or oversight kind of framework where we're happy about how this one event allows us to build into the future in a positive light. And I do wonder like with Jupiter entering Pisces in May that this is like I said starting reopenings or starting to recognize some progress because it looks like early on in the year we have some definite lockdowns like January February as I'm filming this in early January it looks like January February will have some restrictions but then maybe by now we're like okay like there's some success there's some progress there's some a little bit more new beginning but Saturn is also tightly square Uranus like they're separating within a degree and when aspects are separating or moving farther apart it means that the fruit has ripened and is falling from the tree like it is becoming evident what happened when the alignment 
was exact. So possibly progressive legislation has come to fruition and there's some definite friction in getting it passed, but now it's like the fruit's falling, like we got through the trouble and now we're happy and celebrating this new beginning of something that is substantially progress or future inclusion oriented. The downside here is the sign-based square from the Pisces planets to Mars and Gemini. There's this aggravation between feeling good, letting the good times roll kind of thing, and being obsessive about the truth and everything known to us. Like it's a bit accusational towards things that we feel like aren't the truth or aren't the real story. Again, not surprising given the misinformation mania of this year and recent history. But Mars is approaching the North Node, which is an indicator of obsession or increase. So there's this budding resistance this year and specifically to trusting overall efforts or trusting unity, trusting this togetherness or movements that seem like they're uniting us or having an end goal that is homogenous for the collective, like to get to the bottom of the information necessary. So it's not overwhelming yet. This is building up to the end of the month, but it is marked that there's some underpinnings of I don't trust this unity. So a tarot card for this new moon. We have the seven of cups reversed and this cup, this is about illusion and upright means that you are not correct about what you're wanting and basically reversed means you are not correct about what you are fearful of. Like there's illusion and delusion here. So I think that our fears and our celebrations are not founded upon what's literally happening, which again, I'm not surprised with this Neptune resting at the bending of the nodal axis. I don't claim to know any fucking truth. Like I don't claim to know what's going on on any side or any level and I'm just trying to reduce harm as much as I can in my own life. And I think that that is kind of this this, what this card is representing is like either way you look at it you're not going to get the whole story you're more limited than you think so stick to your own celebrations and try not to generalize work your light oracle deck card that we have is break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future so this card is literally saying break the chain rewrite the future i think this means stepping outside of our echo chamber maybe and rewriting the dynamic of information that we get because instead of lashing out at the other side or doing a 180 and being like, I reject where I came from, this is the truth. Just saying, okay, I'm gonna break the chain of a lot of momentum getting information from here. I'm gonna sit back, appreciate what my prior stance has gotten me to, and just allow the unity not to feel like I'm being forced, but to experience all the points of view that I can and come to my own conclusions in my micro world because the macro world is a lot right now. And I overall do like this new moon, like I said, but in our own lives, we can look to the Pisces house for some feel good new beginning vibes and let the rest of the world sort out the confusion. So if you enjoy this and you want to check check out my membership down below. Would love to have you join us. We are growing rapidly and it's cute, cute time. Sending all the love, like, subscribe, do all the things. I will see you in the next one. As always, I completely fucked up and rerouted that outro, but take care. Yeah. Yeah. You must be blinded by the lights. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night